Syria has received its first batch of Russian anti-aircraft missiles, and that's what President Assad told the Hezbollah television network. The statement's adding fuel to the tensions over the S-300 air defense system, with the U.S. slamming Russia's actions and Israel signaling it would prevent it from becoming operational. RT Spolis Lear is following international escalation over Syria. Moscow says that it will continue to supply air defense missiles, calling it a balance that is designed to deter foreign intervention inside Syria. The Russian foreign ministry says that it will restrain, this is to quote the ministry, some hotheads from escalating the conflict to the international scale. But the United States, as expected, has condemned the sale, while here in Israel, the Israelis are saying that they will act to prevent the S-300 missiles from becoming operational on Syrian soil. The Israeli defense minister, Moshe Ayalon, says that if the missiles reach Syria and to quote him, Israel will know what to do. At the same time, controversy continues over the lifting of the EU embargo for lethal aid for the rebels inside Syria. Now, as we know, 25 countries voted against it. Only the UK and France pushed for it, with the German Chancellor Angela Merkel saying that her country will never send arms to the militants in Syria despite this lift. Now, in this interview with Hezbollah TV, the Syrian President Bashar Shara said, says that there are around 100,000 foreign mercenaries who are fighting on the side of the rebels inside Syria. He says that his government will not stand in the way of groups who want to fight for the liberation of the Golan. And he has warned, to quote him from this interview, that the Syrian army will retaliate immediately to another Israeli strike inside Syrian territory. Washington has said nothing about this huge number of foreign mercenaries operating inside Syria, although it has been critical of Hezbollah fighting on the side of the Syrian President Assad. There is an international peace conference that is being planned in Geneva next month that will be brokered by both the U.S. and Russia. But in the same interview to Hezbollah TV, the Syrian President Assad said that he was not particularly hopeful that anything would come out of this. He did, however, say that Syria will take part, but again, that he doesn't expect any kind of big decisions to be made. The opposition, meanwhile, remains divided. This video has emerged from the recent Syrian National Coalition meeting, and it shows the frustration of envoys of both Western and Arab nations when the SNC fails to broaden the coalition by making more seats available. The French ambassador chastised members of the opposition. He was angry over the coalition's failure to agree on introducing new members. You don't deserve yes, the efforts I, I, that I, I, we I made. Heard, I, One member replies, asking, will you cut the weapons? The French ambassador then says, did I say so? I didn't say that. What it does seem is that the collapse of the talks had a lot to do with the push and pull of various foreign powers jockeying for influence within the coalition.